Hola! Welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. Oh my gosh, we've got this great episode for you today. We cannot wait to share with you all of our ideas and stuff that we have. It's, it's a very loose episode. Great. <laughs> a, a, a gossipy episode, if you will. Um, my name is Will, and this is Nine. Yep. This is James. Konnichiwa. We're going to be talking about uh, some exciting games we're excited for in 2016. Um, new IPs that we're hoping to see out of this year. Hopefully some new things coming out. And then games, you know, we wish that we have played, but we never got a chance to. So we'll talk about that. Um, so let's go ahead and get into games we're excited about this year. I have two. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty Daddy. sure you can both guess which two at this point. Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3. No Man's Sky. That's it. Yeah. Hooray! We win, Will. <laughs> Uncharted? I mean, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm going to put Uncharted, Uncharted on my is like It does look pretty good. Yeah. It, okay. I mean... Uncharted is in my top 10 list for 2016, but my my top three nine. titles have got to be No Man's Sky, number one. Okay. Dark Souls 3, and then whatever FromSoft announces after <laughs> yeah. Dark Souls 3. But well, it won't come out this year, probably. Uh -huh. It may not be this year, but they'll announce it this year, because Miyazaki wants to work on something different. Did you see where the producer for... Uh for uh, Dark Souls or whatever, their next project is going to be a golf MMO or something. That's I mean, FromSoft has done a lot of weird stuff. If you hit your ball into the sand, you lose all of your <laughs> legs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go back to that course. I don't know. No, I'm, I'm really excited for Dark Souls. That comes out April 12th, I think. And then No Man's Sky sometimes in June. And I'm going to be putting a lot of time in No Man's Sky. Yeah. As well, you can put a lifetime into and the that witness. game. I'm really excited say. for the witness coming out later this month. Sure, it might already be out. I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, if it's not look that one out this month, then it'll definitely be next month. No, it comes out January. Well, it should be out then because this is the last day of the month. I know. Um, all right, so James, 2016, some games that you know that are coming out. What are you most excited for? Uh. Like I said before, XCOM 2. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about that one. Uh, it seems like they fixed a lot of stuff that was wrong with XCOM 1. And XCOM 1 was a great game, period. But it always sucked how the aliens got the jump on you no matter what. Like As soon as you saw them, they got a free They already move. knew, and they had a move on you already. It broke the yeah. game. They had omnipotence and everything. And you know they already have a lot up on you anyway. Um, and it also just adds a whole covert ops option to the game, which is great. You have like melee abilities. And uh, before I complained to you nines, because I, I said there was no like laser swords, mm -hmm. I've seen pictures and screenshots of laser swords. <laughs> Thus, I'm like ready to go. Uh, besides you, that, you know, you know, we we had a chance to uh, sit through. Um, XCOM 2's presentation at E3 yeah. uh, last year, and it was fantastic. Uh, we met some of the guys from Rooster Teeth, and yeah. all all those guys. We were uh, even, you know, Bernie Burns when we had a chance mm -hmm. to talk with him. I mean, he said, you know, what was your favorite thing out of E3 this year? And he said, XCOM 2. Yeah, I and was it's like, not. Wow, it's usually not everybody's first response. It's not a part. huge, yeah, no. a huge one for a lot of people. But XCOM's a very old game. is pretty much the pioneer of the strategy RPG genre, uh, especially grueling difficulty yeah. and yeah. just punishing you, and and also just missing even like you can have a hundred percent shot and you'll miss. You know, for me, <laughs> that that struck my attention <laughs> was sure. the story yeah. was cool. Like the story they got going on. Oh, the new one is definitely yeah. great. Uh, yeah. Besides that, I'm excited to uh, see all the new MOBA influence titles coming out to consoles, like uh, Overwatch. That one's going to be an exciting I'm one. So to glad see. it's coming to consoles. Yeah, I am too. And I uh, eventually. I, I don't like upgrading my PC all the time no for date this stuff. It yet. It just um, eventually come. As well, uh, besides that one, uh, Battleborn. Battleborn. Yep. Yeah. Uh, That's the one I'm excited for. A lot for. of people get those games kind of mixed up. Well, no, just you will. No. Just you. <laughs> for me, yeah. For me, for me, I know Overwatch is going to come with a lot of polish and everything because it's Blizzard. But uh, Battleborn is going to come with so much character because it's oh, yeah. from, from Gearbox character. and yeah. stuff. So, so I can't wait with for both of those. All unique characters and, and with I'm, unique I'm, abilities. I'm interested to see which one. Basically, I mean, they might tie, but which one wins out for me personally? Right. The, the thing I found cool about that was it was interesting to hear the developers talk about, you know, as they were watching people play the game mm -hmm. at E3, they're they're kind of like, wow, we never thought about using the character in this way or her abilities in this way right. or whatever it was. I was they're, like, that's they're very cool. People are games that they've never thought of. Yeah, and team play 
mechanics. Team plays like, a big deal can, on that you game. You can do crazy stuff. Yeah, so the characters comp. can complement each other. Composition, man. So we're talking about games and uh, things we're excited about 2016. I'm really curious and interested and, and I guess excited to see what happens with VR this year. Um, that's, that's a good answer. I, Another thing. I'd, yeah. like, I'd like to, I'm hoping for some, some quality games. Um, I, I'm an Uncharted fan, so I look forward to that. I, I'm actually really curious to see Final Fantasy 15. I hope it lives up to oh, the hype. Oh, yeah. Uh, it makes it this year. See, I didn't name they that one because yeah, to. that's why I didn't name it. They like, say it's I never going feel like to, it's happening. I don't see it happening. <laughs> it's, yeah. really it'll be out. Know. It'll be out this year for sure. And, and it better be. It, it better be. Yeah. That's right. Uh, we're gonna stick a bobo on you. You owe us a game, man. For those of you who watch our podcast, you'll get that joke. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So Final Fantasy Uncharted, and I gotta go with No Man's Sky as well. Um, uh, I, I, there's no other game I want more this year. Yeah. No other game, and that's it's amazing even to me. Above that's the Souls game, which I love. It's a big deal for you. That's a very big deal. I know it took a lot for you. To, but, to, I mean, <laughs> sci-fi to is even say that. sci-fi is my absolute favorite genre in anything. Mm -hmm. Movies, well, the, TV. This seems to be the epitome anything. of because I love it, and this is just right up my alley. Yeah. It's crazy to me that the, it was built by basically a ten-man team. Four. It started four? out as four. Started nice. off. Hello Games was four people. Well, that's that's what I heard. When so they started. Yeah, that's what and I they heard. Got, they took this project on. They started building it, and Sean Murray was like, "You know what? We this is people. way too big for four people. Yeah. We're getting way behind. We need more staff." So they hired eight more people. Yep. So it's twelve people building this massive title. To their credit. Um, I mean, they're, they're game's not out. I'm so proud of those I guys because so it's just—it's a great story uh, of their their progress with that title. And, and I will never I just, finish this game. Yeah, I'm no, going to tell well, you right now, I will never ever. From what they say, you can't. Ever. Yeah, not, yeah. Not, no, I mean, there is a story. There is a story that you can finish. Like yeah, quests and story and stuff to figure out. I will never do it. I'm just going to be out. I'm just going to be out doing I'm yeah. going to be that guy that's <laughs> out too. on a tangent discovering all, right. all the stuff. Well, we'll talk about some new IPs that are coming out that we're, we hope to see this year when we get back. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, you're watching and listening to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is James. Hey there. This is Nine. Hello. And we're talking about new IPs that we kind of want to see this year. Not games that are going to be released or announced, but something, what do we want out of this new Precisely. year? Um, you know, what kind of experiences do we want from the video game industry? Obviously, there's some massively awesome games that we can expect this year. Yes. But there's a lot of massively awesome games that we don't even know about that are coming this year. Right. So um, let's talk about what we want to see. I mean, James, I know you mentioned uh, in between takes here, there was a new Turtles game coming out. Not oh, that yeah. that's official. something new, but there's... Yeah, well, it's, it's, not, it's not official, so we can't say that, it, and, you know, like, oh, we don't know about it. But it's really weird. Uh, Platinum Games, guys who make uh, Bayonetta 2, uh, there's been multiple leaks. Uh, the initial one was uh, the achievement list. And then now it's been some screenshots. They still haven't confirmed a game that we've almost had all the content released for. <laughs> so it's almost like a new viral marketing campaign they're going with. <laughs> but the art style is cell shaded. It looks really great. It looks like a previous title that they did was uh, one of the Transformers games. Yeah, it's very Station. similar to that. Um, it I, it looks just it looks really cool. And I, I hope it's really awesome. Really cool. I, I love and, and turtle games. Yeah, like, I do too. Nineteen eighty nine was it one of really my needs to the arcade essence of the arcade. The arcade. That's yeah. what it needs to capture. The launch of that game is so awesome. Co-op is a big thing for me. Like uh, the last game that they released for Ninja Turtles was Out of the Shadows, which was a digital release content only. It got a three out of ten from most um, game Three reviews six. and everything. I played it. Uh, and yeah, the glitch was really bad. Yes, the camera was really bad, but the ambition there, and that that key gameplay, the vision was good. Like you, it actually had like a Batman type combat system where like you know Y was your reversal right. and then the X X X, and so you tried to make like an endless chain, and you could like do team ups with the, the so other turtles. So some like, of the ideas were good, just poorly executed. Poorly executed, and um, I'd like I'd love to see it done right. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, yeah. And and with Platinum Games, I mean, I'm sure the combat will be good. good. History. So, um, yeah. But yeah. So, uh, nine. I mean, anything. What, what, what kind of new experience do you want to see out of the games this year? As I said in the previous segment, I really want to know what Miyazaki's working on. Now. Yeah. <laughs> the guy is a mastermind at whatever he does, and so the Souls franchise is whatever great. Whatever he puts out, he wants you get? to do a sci-fi game. 
Oh, right. wants to that. do a sci-fi game, which has just piqued my interest to astronomical levels. Well, because because Dark Souls <laughs> Three yes, is the last. That was pun intended. <laughs> it's it, it's there's like there's no better recipe for you to, to like, like th your this favorite is like the two developer. my favorite developer my favorite director, and now my favorite genre coming together. It's just like. Uh, I couldn't be happier. If it's a soul style game in sci fi world, I'll just be a kid. Well, Dark Souls world. 3 is his last one, right? Dark Souls is, 3 is the last Souls game. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Dark, last Dark Souls, Souls 3. Game. Which I think is awesome. That he's actually gonna end mean it. There's no Bloodborne 2. Well, right, because Bloodborne is almost its Bloodborne own Bloodborne is its own entity. Yeah. Dead um, blood. You know, but with Demon Souls only getting one release, I don't see a Bloodborne 2 in our future. I hope so. But yeah. we'll I, see. I would love to see a, dark, a mm -hmm. Bloodborne 2. But the so, sci-fi yeah. aspect would be really but interesting. I, I really want to see what Miyazaki's working on. Other than that, I, I kind of want to see where Infinity Ward is taking Call of Duty. Because mm -hmm. we have heard zip yeah. Yeah. about it so far. And they are two years in development, and it's supposed to come out this November. Another one? Yeah. Yeah, because they switch off every year. Like, uh, they switch off every year. Yeah, so Sledge Infinity Ward gets its time. Or, I mean, uh, Treyarch was last yeah. year. Yeah. Sledgehammer was Advanced Warfare the year before that. Right. Who's y'all's so favorite? This right now, Treyarch. Treyarch's always Treyarch's my favorite. Always Black, my yeah, Black Ops. They started. Ops my, yeah. They started Call of Duty. Yeah. I, I'm torn because I mean, Sledgehammer, I think, did Modern Warfare two, if I remember correctly, and then no, Infinity Ward. Infinity Ward Word and Treyarch have been the only two. Yeah. Infinity. Sledgehammer's first foray was Advanced Warfare. Um. I think they were involved in a previous one. They were supposed I think they were to involved. the third person. Yeah. Anyway, we'll we'll look that up. But Solid Chamber did a great job. But you know, between Infinity Ward and Treyarch, I'd give the slight edge right now to Treyarch because Black Ops Three was amazing. Zombies just gets me. That's why Treyarch always Treyarch's had my games vote. never fail to live up to the Call of Duty name. Yeah. yeah. Whereas Infinity Ward's games kind of hit or miss. And Infinity's got a lot to live up to being yeah. the Black Ops 3 made best selling game in 2015. And they've really got to put ghosts under their belt. Yeah. <laughs> like they've just got to get Bury the memory that. of ghosts yeah. out and, of the water. And part of that is like they need know, to exercise that. We're ghost. getting a little bit sidetracked but part of that is because if Zombies is not in your game it's like some people don't feel like they're getting their money's worth even though the campaign I mean, might Spec be great. Spec Ops is great. I like Spec yeah. Ops. I love the Spec Ops in Modern Warfare 2. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. If they just brought a better version of that back I'd still be happy. Something fun. It's Spec Ops, and what was the holdout mode? Yeah, where you just like survival yeah, kind survival. of. You, do the, you play the one map and you yeah. survive the different ways. Yeah, I like that, that was too. In three. It was in three, too. Yeah. It was yeah. in two, and then it came back in three. So yeah. Those juggernauts would yep. yeah. spawn. They got, a good, uh. they got a good thing with that. <laughs> that's a good co op. Yeah, yeah it's like, a fun. great co op experience. Mm -hmm. Um, so for me, I mean, I, I'd like to see, I mentioned this on the Checkpoint podcast as well, but some good beat-em-up brawler yeah. type of a story game. Yeah, I'd like to see that too. You know, some kind of a Streets good, of yeah, some kind of a Streets of Rage, yeah. like a co-op um, fighting game that has a story to it. Yeah. One? But I was gonna say, <laughs> harnesses the power of next gen consoles. I mean, that would be awesome. Yeah. Well, see, that kind of goes along with uh, Platinum Games Turtle. If they could do that, something cool. Like, yeah. Because even then, if that works, that's exactly what we're looking for that's not in a modern modern setting. I mean, the turtles we'll are we'll want super to... classic 2D, like side scrolling <laughs> double dragons kind of thing. <laughs> But if I can get close to it with Turtles, if Turtles is like as, as the key core experience, the side scrolling thing, again. or like you know, like the bouncer had, uh, we talked about this as well, had like that kind of camera angle where you go in a different way down them. I don't something like that. Something. The, the Turtles has its own recipe, right? So yeah. I yeah. don't mind changing that, but you know what you're getting into, some kind of a new. It's IP. been a long time, like just beat him up in general. Like, as far as just me and a buddy, you know, beat the crap out of some stuff. There's nothing. That's my favorite stuff. Like, Baldur's Gate, we talked about that yeah. before. Champions of Norath and Baldur's Gate, yeah. two of my favorite brawling style Diablo kind of games. Yeah, anything like that. Which, I mean, yeah, there's but, Diablo, but for but some no, reason, Diablo didn't feel exactly no, the same. No, you know, cheap shot. I mean, full blown, triple A, new IP. Make it happen. Maybe not this year, I don't know. And then when we get back, we're going to talk about games that we wish we had a chance to play but haven't been able to. When we get back, Hey everybody, welcome back. <laughs> Keep it elves, I don't know where you are or what you do, but I have a specific set of skills. You're watching Listen to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yo. This is James. Ew. We're talking about games that we never had a chance to play, but we always wish we could have. I'm sure many of you have a game like that that 
you either don't have the time, life's gotten in the way, something's come up, and or the game kind of just goes by it. your radar, and you f eventually forget about it, and then one day you go, oh yeah, I wish I had a chance to play that game. Yeah. So let's talk about games like that. Um, I'll start off with one. Um, I'll say Left 4 Dead. You've really? never played Left 4 Dead? Never played Left 4 Dead. That oh is such my a God. great game, dude. I will. That is such a great <laughs> that's game. That's got to happen now. That's, that's my favorite zombie game. I have game. it on my 360. You're going to come over and we're going to play the second one at least. Yeah. You're going to come right. over and we're going to play that. We should stream it. We should do that. That's fine. That'd we'll be awesome. That. We'll Let's hook it up it. and we'll stream it. So I'll I can, Wake the Witch. Yeah. Uh, that is I'm, a game that I've always wished I could play but never had a chance. Uh, if we can get another person, we can system link. We'll do it on Big Style. You still got your 360. I do. Bring it over. All right. Some of the most fun I've ever had is system link in Left 4 Dead. Copy of the game, but yeah, yeah, do that. It should be that's easy. Covered as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's there's one for me. That's, that's, that's a big one. That that's you a big just, one. That's you a just big open the right rift. There. Yeah, <laughs> I got I got another one. Um, I actually uh, I'm kind of looking at it, but the the Sim City games, I played them. I see, a long, I never. I played them a long time ago and. Had so much fun watching like earthquakes and floods. That's like, all I destroy. did too. Yeah. I always got tornadoes whenever I played those games. But this was a long time ago when it was first. When you had to like build through the different yeah. civilizations. And, yeah. Well, and the, and the PCs were like, yeah. you know, PCs from way back yeah. when. But nowadays, I, I haven't played one take advantage of like the newer stuff so I don't know what the newest I one is. I can never is, accomplish anything in those games so I just quit playing. I'd like to yeah. see what one was about. I just destroyed stuff with natural disasters yeah. like I caused them. And <laughs> so now I had a chance to play that and I, the Starcraft series I, I always kind of from I've gone to Battlegrounds, Red Bull, Red Bulls, obviously. Uh, we, we cover that event for their esports stuff. I'm sitting there watching it and I was like man I wish you know I sit down and actually play it, learn it a little bit, and the actually original, have some fun with it. The original Warcraft games were the only RTS games I ever got into. I never played much of StarCraft or anything like that. But those are some games that kind of, like, I never I always think, like, oh, well, I wish I could play it, but never. <coughs> James, how about you? What do you That's got? That's one of the multitasking skills for RTSs. <laughs> um, uh, Crisis, like, and I know Crisis oh, eventually, Crisis that's eventually great. released for consoles. My excuse was is that it used to be like a high-end PC game. Yeah. Like that was like it if you still had requires monster specs to run that game. Yeah, and which is why I never got my hands on it, and I always thought it looked super cool graphic-wise. It looked like stellar. That game is still like holding up by today's standards in they, terms of graphics fidelity. They not only that, but just gameplay. Some of the weapons they introduced. Um, they put uh, Crisis Two was uh, yeah I saw a sweet bow going on that's yeah. all I need they they, they did a great Get job my Katniss Everdeen Crisis on. Three was good too they had some really great ideas in yeah. game development the there. Crisis Three multiplayer beta and the multiplayer just for me was not working <laughs> yeah I don't the know campaigns what it was. are what oh, I'm sure for me. yeah I mean I played first on those Crisis albeit very very slowly because my computer could barely run it on low setting yeah but I played it and beat it it was great. Um, I, I played through most of the second campaign, which was great. Well, good, good to know, like, Will, I, I missed a very awesome game. Uh, besides that, another one that I'm going to get to rectify soon. I'm pretty happy about it. Uh, Valkyria Chronicles. Yeah. Oh, I never yeah. got to play that because it was for PS3 out of 360. Yep. I, I, would, I like, practically tried to borrow one, my PS3 from a friend just so it's I could a fun play game. it. Because it's very, I love those type of games. Really, really cool story. Um, but, yeah, it's supposed to get remastered for PS4 yep. very soon. And uh, I'm going to rectify that. Yeah, you know so. Cooney. I want to add that to my list. That's a great game. Yeah. That is a fantastic game. It yep. looks fun. Yep. Oh, it's so good. Nine, what do you got? Uh, my my one is really, really... Your one? My, There's only I, one no, game? No, I have more. I have more. <laughs> but the one that I'm going to bring up, Tokyo Jungle on the PS3. Okay. It's a weird, quirky game that I really wish I'd gotten. Oh, I know what you're talking about. There it's we one go. where you're just animals running through... Yeah. Tokyo. I just remember the cover art. It just art. makes no yeah. sense. It's so <laughs> random. It's definitely like a Japanese game. I remember yeah. the cover like, had like a manticore fighting like yeah. a or scorpion or like something. Like yeah. randomness happening, and I was like, this game looks <laughs> ridiculous. I have to play it. And as soon as I was getting ready to like make the purchase on the PlayStation Store. My PS3 died like two days. I was I like, remember. I get paid on Friday. <laughs> oh. I'll buy it on Friday. Fat Princess. I want to add that that's to my list. That's a great Fist game. Fistful of too. cake, yeah. Uh, the second one's coming out on PS4. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. So, and it's supposed to be like an action adventure style game. Mm -hmm. So that, that game was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, some other games, Beyond Two Souls. Ooh, that's fun stuff. Never played it. Oh, man, really, you got to do really, that. Really, Wasn't, really uh, who to. was it? What's his name? Willem Dafoe? Yep. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 I'd, I'd play it just for that. Ellen Page, yeah. I, saw, I actually <laughs> I watched some gameplay of that. I didn't play that either, and I wanted to. But I watched some gameplay of that, Mike, and it was intense. It I watched John Wick for the first time. That's a great movie. I thought it was That's a excellent. fantastic movie. Really dude. good. Is, I'm impressed. Fantastic movie. Is Two Souls by the same people who made Indigo Prophecy? Because it looks so much no. like... Heavy Rain. Like Heavy Rain. that kind of thing, it's yeah. Quantic yeah. Dream. Gotcha. The people behind Detroit, which is going to be... Yeah, amazing. that looks really cool. Mm. Um... What else you got? Uh, Beyond Two Souls is probably the biggest title on that list because that's, that's good that stuff. Was a pretty good, yeah. Soft, yeah. solid miss there. Um, I've never, ever, ever, ever played any of the Pokemon games. Yeah, I thought you were going to say that. <laughs> but it sounds like you do. It's on your list. I, I have no I, I. You don't know what to get into? You don't know I, where to start? I don't know where to start. I, everybody yeah. tells me to start on Pokemon Red and Blue, and I was just like, I. I Watched people play it when I was younger when it first came out. I just, it just didn't spark my interest. But uh, I know it's so big that it's something that I should be into. Sure. My favorite, sure. my favorite out of all of them was a uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Yeah, because uh, you you still I get. Also don't have a Advance or SP or any of that stuff. To play it's yeah. it's a remake of the second Pokemon game that came out. Um, so you don't you don't have like a crap ton of Pokemon, you know. Right. So it's not overwhelming because if you get into the new generation, you got like 700 to deal with. Yeah, and I'm just like this is just ridiculous. red and blue is a little bit old. So Heart Gold and Soul Silver, it, it basically updated everything, but it still had the nostalgic feel of the originals. Right. And it's super long because once you beat the Elite Four, you have the option of fighting Red, uh, who's on a mountain somewhere. He's basically Ash, and he has like all level 99 Pokemon. <laughs> Well, and it's intense. Way so, too much for me to get into. Yeah. So there's some stuff. We can go on and on about this stuff, but that's all the time we have for you. Thank you for joining us. Check us out on PressStartTV.com. Until next time, we'll see you. Bye. Peace.